Hey guys, it's me Active Exploit back again with another video and in today's video we are going to have a look at Kerberos thing and Kerberos authentication uh, and first of all I really want to apologize because um, I will actually have to do a death by powerpoint uh, because I don't have much time to record today and I, and I seriously apologize for that uh, but I'm sure that in the next video uh, I will be covering this attack practically and show you how we can perform this attack right so um, in today's video, we will, we will first of all uh, start off by understanding what is Kerberos and how it works. And then finally, we will understand what is Kerberos thing attack. So with that being said, let's get started. So Kerberos thing is a Active Directory based attack, right? But uh, first of all, in order to understand how this attack works, we will uh, understand how Kerberos authentication uh, works, right? So uh, Kerberos authentication. So Kerberos is a network uh, network authentication protocol used in Windows Active Directory. So if you are familiar with Active Directory, you might know this protocol too. Um, and in the process, clients connect and interact with the network authentication service. The client obtains tickets from the KDC or we can say the key distribution center. And after obtaining the ticket from the KDC, a client may use the ticket in order to communicate with the application server. So if if you are watching this video for the first time if you are new to this concept uh, new to this concept right i'm pretty sure that you might not get any of this but uh, don't worry uh, we will cover off all of these concepts and terms in the uh, in the upcoming slides right so uh, kerberos runs on port 88 by default and uh, it uses the udp uh, protocol which is the user datagram protocol right and in in order to understand how this process works let's have a look at the so uh, here is our diagram and this is what exactly is happening in the Kerberos authentication process. Now I know that you aren't getting any of these, uh, any of the uh, concepts uh, or any of the process which is uh, happening in the uh, diagram, in the following diagram, right? So in order to understand all of this, first of all, you know, let's have a look at some common terms. So first of all, the client. So client is a normal user who wants to access a particular service. And then we have the KDC, which is the key distribution center. Now, KDC is one of the most important component which um, plays the main role in the authentication process. So basically, KDC is the one who is going to generate tickets and pass them on to the clients, right? And also, it, it not only passing, uh, not only generating and passing on uh, the tickets to client, but it is also going to verify the tickets um, which are um, submitted by the uh, application servers right now the application server so application server can be any application service such as uh, sql or we can say ms sql right and then we have the tgt which is ticket granting ticket so tgt is basically the ticket needed for requesting tgs or we can say the ticket granting service from kdc and it is obtained from the kdc only so um in order to make you understand in easier words uh, we can say that if the client wants to communicate with an application service it will first of all have to obtain a TGT which is the ticket granting ticket from the key distribution center and once it obtains the TGT it can uh, ask the KDC again for a TGS so once is op so once sorry uh, so once it obtains the TGT it can again ask the uh, KDC the key distribution center for the uh, TGS the ticket granting service now uh, this is because the app uh, the key, key distribution center uh, will pass the TGS only if the client is having a uh, verified TGT or we can say the ticket granting ticket right now uh, then we have the service principal name so this is basically uh, uh, an identifier for each service instance so it is one of the key components in the process of authentication and you will see why right so now let's have a look at the diagram above in order to understand this process in a lot better way right so here as you can see we have some terms we have krb as request we have krb as rep and so on let us first of all start off by understanding the krb as request term uh, so this is basically the client is going to send a encrypted message to the kdc requesting uh, the KDC to send back a ticket granting ticket right so this happens when a client wants to um, you know 
um, communicate with an application server so as I mentioned previously that in uh, in order to communicate with an application server a client should have a TGS which is basically the ticket granting service ticket and for obtaining a TGS ticket you should have a ticket granting ticket right which is also obtained from the KDC or we can say the key distribution center <coughs> um, so as I mentioned previously that this message is completely encrypted and it is encrypted uh, by a NTLM hash so once it reaches the key distribution center the KDC is going to decrypt that message and once it verifies that uh, the user is authenticated it is going to reply back with this term which is the KRB as rep so KRB as rep uh, what does this term mean so this is basically nothing but the key distribution center is now going to reply back to the client um, with a uh, with a ticket granting ticket right but before it sends the uh, ticket granting ticket to the client it is first of all going to encrypt that ticket using the Kerberos ticket granting ticket hash right and once it sends that particular uh, encrypted uh, TGT to the client the client can then store that TGT into its memory for further process right so now we have the Kerberos, uh, uh, sorry, the KRB TGS rec. So what does this term mean? So this is nothing but now the client, after storing the uh, TGT into its memory, the client can request the KDC for a um, for a ticket granting service ticket, right? So it basically sends a message to the key distribution center saying that hi, I want to um, uh, access a particular application server, which can be this application server maybe uh, MS SQL or SQL it can be anything right so it, it sends a request to the KDC saying that um, I need access to a application server via uh, Kerberos authentication and I need a TGS for that so please verify my TGT and uh, revert me back a TGS so now the key distribution center is basically going to verify the ticket granting ticket of that client and if it is verified right if it if, if if it is a verified tgt the key distribution center is again going to um uh encrypt the tgs and send it back to the client right so now as the client is having the tgs and the tgt the client can now communicate with the application server so as you can see the client is sending a request to the application server which is the krb app request so this is basically nothing but the client is requesting the um, application server to decrypt the TGS ticket which was given by the KDC so now the application server is going to attempt to decrypt the message using its uh, NTLM hash to verify the PAC and PAC means nothing but privilege attribute certificate so uh, this certificate is nothing but it contains the user privileges and is uh, and it is almost uh, included in every ticket right so the application server uh, sends a request to the KDC uh, in order to verify the PAC and the KDC is going to verify this PAC and revert it back to the application server and now the application server can allow the user to access the service the particular service for a specific time right so this is what the Kerberos process is all about now I know that this is a bit complicated but uh, you can rewatch the video or you can also look for better resources online if you find any uh, and so that's basically how the Kerberos uh, process actually works now if you want to dive in deeper into the into this particular process the Kerberos network authentication process I will drop down some resources which you can read and have a look at right Alright, so now let's have a look at the Kerberos roasting attack. So Kerberos roasting is an attack where an attacker can steal the Kerberos ticket uh, granting service ticket which is encrypted, right? So this is basically a technique that allows an attacker to steal the KRB TGS ticket which is completely encrypted with RC4 and uh, we can basically brute force application services hash to extract its password, right? So the Kerberos uses a NTLM hash in order to encrypt uh, the KRB TGS of that uh, service right so when the domain user sends a request for TGS ticket to the KDC for any service that is a registered SPN or we can say the service principal name the KDC then generates the KRB TGS without identifying the user's authorization against that the, against the, the requested service right so now what 
happens is that the uh, attacker can now use this particular ticket after getting that uh, TGS ticket. Uh, the attacker can use that ticket uh, offline to brute force the password for that particular service account since the ticket has been encrypted uh, in RC4 with the NTLM hash of that uh, particular service account, right? So as you can see, this is really malicious and dangerous. Um, after uh, so, if if the passwords uh, are really like weak the hash can be decrypted uh, in just seconds right and it can be very much malicious the attacker can also gain initial access over that particular account right so uh, that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked it and i'm really really sorry for doing that by powerpoint uh, i again apologize for that but i'm damn sure that in the next video um, we will have a look at this attack and we are going to uh, perform this uh, attack in our active directory lab right so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys like the video and goodbye.